Perry man, you out here? Whoa, that just echoed through these woods. Why don't you come up out of that ground? Come through the dirt. No freaking way. I cannot believe what I just seen. Whoa, dude, there's like something in the center. Dude, this is like a straight up ritual. And they were still out there. And they were coming towards me. Oh, God! Come. Greetings. I am the Midwest Ghost Hunter, and I am currently at some of the most haunted trails in Minnesota. There are countless urban legends that are said to go on here, and I am going to be investigating those urban legends completely by myself tonight. Anyways, guys, I'm going to give you the rundown of the place, everything you need to know, and then we're going to jump right into the investigation. The Vergus Trails are a network of minimum maintenance roads, rife with supernatural urban legends. Since the late 1960s, there have been sightings of a cryptid dubbed the Hairy Man, an eight foot tall humanoid creature with long shaggy hair covering its entire body. It's been described by locals as tall, hairy, barefoot, antisocial, and even a bit of a hermit. All over town, you find residents who have heard of or even seen it. Out of this building, came this, what I've always described as larger than what I would consider a, a human being, covered with hair, head, face, body, and bare feet. Nobody believed him until he took us down to his car and showed us the dent in the hood and scratches on the hood. And that's what he said was the gorilla type hairy man. If I was rational about it and say, no, there is absolutely nothing to fear but I can't explain the feelings I get when I'm out there alone. The hairy man can also be identified by its putrid odor and deranged growls in the woods. Beware, for it is known to be aggressive, often chasing people, attacking cars, and even lobbing dangerously large boulders. Another supernatural occurrence are foggy, childlike handprints appearing on the windows of passing cars. It is said that many years ago, a school bus veered off the road into one of the lakes of the Vergus Trails, and that the spirits of the school children who died are behind this strange phenomena. One of the more sinister legends is that of a cult known as the White Sheets that live in an eight-sided house only visible on certain nights. They are said to prance around in white robes, chase off motorists, conduct rituals in the woods, and even kill the local livestock. There is even said to be ethereal cars that chase unsuspecting drivers before vanishing into thin air. Along the road is a cemetery where the tombstones are said to mysteriously glow in the night. Towards the back of this cemetery also lies an unmarked grave, said to belong to the real life Jason Voorhees. It is said that this killer went on a murder spree at the nearby Christian campground before being subdued by the counselors. It is said that if you visit his grave on Halloween night, his tombstone will be visible and the plot will be empty. You will then hear the loud buzzing of a chainsaw in the woods, slowly getting closer and closer. Locals also talk of hellhounds guarding the surrounding woods that will devour anyone who dares veer off the trails. There has even been sightings of UFO lights hovering the skies, particularly at the telephone pole clearing. Despite the bright full moon in the sky, the thick wilderness shrouded the trails in nearly complete darkness. A lot of eerie sounds out here. There was a strange feeling in the air that night. It was almost palpable. It felt as if the place were a living thing, watching my every move. I utilized a thermal camera that takes pictures based off of temperature readings. If I were to see the hairy man, it would most likely be that of a red heat signature, since it is described as a living creature. Oh, I got something right here. That is not Bigfoot. That is a raccoon.
Whoa. What was that? It's like a bang out in the woods. Boy, that just echoed through these woods. You can clearly hear the sounds of something being struck against a tree. I've never heard a noise like this in the woods before. However, I cannot conclude that this was indeed the hairy man. I would attempt some form of communication by duplicating what I had heard. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to respond. That one broke. I would receive no responses. I would drive up and down the trails in the hopes of being followed by one of the infamous ghost cars. Rumbly. Nobody's following me, as you can see in my side mirror. However, none would appear. No ghost cars yet. At the strike of midnight, I would make my way to the cemetery in the hopes of witnessing one of the glowing headstones. Are there any spirits in this cemetery? I heard that some of these graves, they glow in the dark. Could you show me this phenomena? After more silence, I approached the supposed grave of Jason Voorhees. Here's Jason's grave. And used provocation to awaken his resting corpse. All right, so it is obviously not Halloween night, but I've got a trigger object. Hopefully this is not the last video I make, but Jason, I've got a gift for you. Here's an ax. If you want to kill me, now is your chance. Why don't you come up out of that ground? Grab the ax with your hand. Come through the dirt. I heard you murdered a lot of people. Is that true? I would thankfully walk away from this situation with my life. However, I would hear a very familiar sound in the woods. I heard that same. Oh my god. I heard that same noise as before. I hear the same whacking noises from before, only this time it happens twice. It sounds like somebody hitting a stick against a tree. Now tell me what kind of animal would do that. I'm not gonna jump to conclusions, but damn, it is very spooky to hear that. I heard that same. Well, I inspected my car and I do not see any handprints, let alone a child's handprints. There's even a bunch of dust back here. But, uh, however, I do have a trigger object. So if there is any ghostly children out here, uh, I'm gonna see if they'll mess around with this ball here. I'm also right next to a lake, which fits the description of the urban legend. So if there was a school bus crash, I'd imagine it might be somewhere here. All right, if there's any ghostly children out here, I've got a ball in my hand. If you wanna play with this ball, feel free. I'm gonna roll it out to you, okay? Still rolling. It's eerie. Whoa. Look at that thing. I feel like that's just the slant on the road, but that is really eerie. <laughs> the way it just did that. Let's get a 
little closer. If there's any children out here, could you move that ball? Is it true that you died in a bus crash? I'm very sorry if you did. Try your best. You can use my energy. You can use the energy off of my cameras. Whatever it is you need. Try to move this ball. What sounds like a child moaning can just barely be heard on the audio. I had no idea that this had occurred and that there may have been a spirit in my presence this whole time. Throughout the night, I would leave infrared camcorders filming in different areas. In this particular shot, I would capture something quite startling. The most noticeable phenomena is what sounds like something large trudging through the woods. However, what truly makes this footage all the more shocking is what can be visually seen. Watch very closely. You can see what appears to be a pair of eyes glinting off of the infrared light. However, what is perplexing about this creature is the height. It is much taller than any raccoon or deer. One could say that it is simply a bear. However, on the contrary, bears do not walk in a bipedal position. I had no idea whatever this creature may be. Harry man. Was in my presence. You out here? And that it could show up anywhere, at any time. It seemed like the night had settled and gone quiet. And this booster light's really starting to die here. It is until witching hour when I hear something unsettling. These were no ordinary spirit-like voices, and I would soon realize there was something completely off about this situation. I dare go down this road. I'll let the footage tell the rest. Those are real people. I had no idea they were out here. I did not hear anything except those voices. Oh my god, that freaking, that really creeps me out. I guess I could keep walking, but. Man. What is that? Oh my god, there's a light over there. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I should probably get It doesn't look like car lights either. Hello? Is anybody down there? Dude, if there's people over there and they're not responding like that, it is really freaking. Oh, I'm here to investigate, aren't I? Oh my god. I can't believe I'm doing this. Or maybe 
Maybe it's just a reflection. No, it's not. I'm closer now. I still don't know what that is. It's like something on the ground. Please. Don't make me regret this. Whatever you do, do not follow in my footsteps. If you are watching this, do not do this yourself. This is really stupid. I do not know who's over here, but here I am checking it out. Oh my God. No freaking way. Dude, those are candles. the hell? Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Dude. Whoa, dude, there's like something in the center. What is this? Dude, this is like a straight up ritual. What the hell is that in the middle? Oh God. Oh my God. Those are bones. Okay, this is no freaking joke. I am out of here. This is not like some fucking prank. Dude, what the those are animal bones. Those are animal bones. Oh God! Were these mysterious individuals the notorious white sheets? I have a hard time believing that teenagers would go as far as to leaving animal bones and lit black candles. As terrifying of an experience as this was, what's even scarier is what I didn't hear. The only way I could describe this sound is something inhuman. After this occurrence, I was hesitant to ever investigate alone again. I am stupid for coming out here. This was a stupid idea. Absolutely stupid. I cannot believe what I just seen. And they were still out there. And they were coming towards me. I ran, I never ran so fast in my freaking life so much. And I can't believe I parked so far away. Oh my God. It is a miracle that I'm all right right now. Do not ever, do not ever do this. Do not follow in my footsteps. Do not come out here by yourself. You will be an idiot for doing so because that, that is exactly why.